John Podesta has always been a strong advocate for declassification of government files in general and UFO files in particular. As White House Chief of Staff for Bill Clinton, Podesta helped declassify hundreds of millions of documents. But if there were UFO secrets being held somewhere, they eluded even the president. Podesta returned to the White House as an advisor to President Obama. And on the day he left that job, he sent out a tweet saying his biggest disappointment was the failure to uncover the UFO files. These days, Podesta has the ear of another potential president. He's running the campaign for Hillary Clinton and made it clear to political reporter Steve Sebelius that the UFO question has been discussed. I've talked to Hillary about that. This yeah. is a little bit of a, of a cause of mine, which is that people really want to know what the government knows, right. and there are uh, still classified files that could be declassified. It there wasn't an a, offhand uh, remark. Podesta has answer, encouraged journalists I, to ask his candidate about UFOs, and a few have done so. Mrs. Clinton told a New Hampshire newspaper she intends to get to the bottom of the UFO mystery, thinks it's possible the planet may have been visited, and would consider creating a task force to investigate Nevada's Area 51 military base, which became a center of UFO. UFO attention more than 25 years ago because of reports that aired on KLAS TV. CNN characterized Mrs. Clinton's remarks as jokes, but Podesta makes it clear he and his candidate are serious. I think I've convinced her uh, that we need an effort to kind of go look at that and declassify as much as we can uh, so that people have uh, uh, th their legitimate questions answered uh, and uh, more attention. Uh, and more discussion uh, about uh, unexplained aerial phenomena can happen without uh, people who are in public life, who are serious about this, being ridiculed. The Clintons know firsthand how the UFO topic invites ridicule. Anyone remember the frequent tabloid headlines during the Clinton presidency? Hillary adopts alien baby. Space alien endorses Bill. And more recently, conspiracy theorists have suggested there are UFO secrets hidden in Mrs. Clinton's private emails. It comes with the territory. I come in for, I guess, my fair share of uh, people, people uh, you know, raising questions about whether I'm off my rocker. But I, I've been a long time advocate of, uh, uh, of declassification of, of uh, records. And he basically ended one of his speeches by saying, not only can the public handle it, but we should do it because it's the law. Huffington so, Post writer Lee Spiegel like has that, followed the UFO debate yeah, since the late 70s. This. He notes that Podesta has been way out in front on UFO disclosure in speeches at places like the National Press Club. In the mid-90s, the Clintons were lobbied by billionaire Lawrence Rockefeller to end UFO secrecy. Mrs. Clinton was photographed with Rockefeller while holding a book titled Are We Alone? The Implications of Discovery of E.T. Life. Bill Clinton has made public statements confirming that he tried to get to the bottom of UFO issues while in office. So first I had people go look at the records on Area 51 to make sure there was no alien down there. <laughs> the government's interest in UFOs officially ended with the closure of Project Blue Book in 1969, but the suspicion remains that unexplained encounters involving national security are still being studied by someone. Podesta suspects that someone is holding on to a large cache of UFO files. Lee Spiegel says several whistleblowers have surfaced over the years, including the late lunar astronaut Dr. Edgar Mitchell, who say that secrets are still being kept. There are military people coming forward now saying the government never did stop investigating UFOs, and we need to grow up to that. George Knapp, 8 News Now.